Hello everyone, Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To coming to you guys with a video walkthrough of how to upgrade from VMware Horizon 7 to the newly released VMware Horizon 8 2111. 2111 has some really fantastic new features uh, to mention. I just spun up a blog post as of yesterday covering the new features of 2111 but just a quick walkthrough of those features. Horizon 2111 includes a extended service branch support. So 36 months of support with Horizon 2111. Contains new REST APIs, uh, rename of desktop recording to Horizon recording. Also with this release, the VMware OS optimization tool that we've all used and love for the past few years, in fact, the number one fling on the uh, VMware fling site uh, is now a production supported tool. So fantastic news there. There are various improvements uh, with instant clones, uh, with the Horizon console, the various Horizon clients have uh, fantastic new features. So I'm going to post the blog post in the description for this video on those new features. So what I have in the lab environment that I want to show you guys is a couple of VMware Horizon 7 connection servers that I have spun up. And what I've done is uh, I've spun up the first connection server as a connection server. The second server is spun up as a replica connection server, but essentially, as you guys know, those two are one and the same. So they have LDP replication between the two boxes, and that's how the configuration, the database, everything is replicated uh, between the two connection servers. So things to be aware of, uh, you want to pay attention to uh, all aspects, really, of your Horizon upgrade. But the first thing I wanted to mention is you need to do this in a specific order. And there's a really fantastic KB from uh, VMware showing exactly the order of operations that you want to follow uh, upgrading your uh, VMware Horizon environment. So I have a very simple environment in the lab. I've got two connection servers. Now, if you most likely in a production environment, you're going to have UAG boxes, you're going to have external uh, connecting clients that you need to be aware of. So there are definitely uh, things you want to do in a certain order. Uh, number one listed is make sure your clients are at the latest and greatest Horizon client version to make sure you don't have issues there. Now, I am all the way on step seven with connection servers. So obviously I don't have all of these technologies in between and pre post uh, the connection server. So I'm just worrying about the connection server for this video, but just be aware of that. I'm going to post this link as well. Also, there is a uh, product interoperability matrix. VMware maintains a really nice interoperability ma uh, matrix. And one of those is the upgrade path. So be aware that depending on which version of VMware Horizon that you are starting with, there are supported upgrade paths and there are those that are unsupported. So you want to make sure that you are hopping between the uh, green check boxes uh, on your upgrade path, hitting those check boxes uh, to arrive at 2111 if that's what you so desire uh, to upgrade to the latest and greatest. So what I have done is I have upgraded. Uh, actually, one other thing that I want to show you guys is that you want to make sure that replication between your uh, connection servers is healthy. So there's a command for that, and it's the rep admin command. So I'm going to run this on both connection servers. And let's see what output we get. So run the command. And here we see we have no errors. They would be listed at the bottom or in among the return. So as we see, 
we properly have replication with the secondary connection server, which is the replica server in, in my uh, environment. So I'm going to flip over to connection server two, and we are going to paste and run the same command, and we should see the reverse, uh, everything being fine with replication uh, to the 01 server, which we see. We don't see any errors. We see uh, the neighbors correctly reported. Everything shows to be successful uh, in this case. So that's something you want to do before you start upgrading your Horizon connection servers. You can do this in tandem. Uh, VMware has a uh, KB article talking about upgrading your connection servers in parallel. So that is uh, something you definitely can do. So if you don't want to take the downtime to upgrade one server, then flip everything over and make sure the other server gets upgraded, you can just create a maintenance window upgrade both in tandem, but this is a command that you want to run initially to make sure that you have replication between both. It's healthy. You don't see any errors because if you do, you need to address that uh, first. So I'm going to flip back over to 01. I'm going to kick off the 2111 upgrade to Horizon 8, and we're going to see uh, how this looks with the upgrade process. So take just a second for things to, to get started. A uh, really nice thing about the Horizon 8 upgrade, in-place upgrade, is that it's simple. Um, you know, it just takes a, a few minutes, copy over the um, upgrade file, or it's actually just the same file if you're going to upgrade or perform a new install. So you just run this, it's going to recognize you have an existing installation and it's going to carry over that config. So pretty common stuff here. Uh, next, next finish process, if I could describe it that way. Uh, so we're just accepting the EULA. We're going to say no to join the CEIP program. Hit next. Um, it basically is just giving you some informational data uh, describing the process, privacy statements, those types of things. So now we're going to install and we're going to let this run. So it will do the normal uh, install, installer uh, processes, uh, checking the installer, validating the install. It's going to upgrade the components, de essentially delete uh, VMware Horizon 7 uh, and pull over that configuration from the database. Now there are database changes with uh, Horizon 8, and I had specifically spoken with VMware about this. Uh, you most likely, as a best practice, you don't want to uh, just simply bring in a uh, Horizon 8 server to your environment. So if you have a Horizon 7 server, you don't want to just automatically stick a Horizon 8 server in as a, um, a replica partner. You want to do those in-place upgrades uh, because there are some database changes that are made to that LDP database, uh, the Atom database, um, as you perform this uh, upgrade process. So this allows that process to run successfully and to do things uh, that it needs to do. Now, once again, um, I'm going to go over and pull this upgrade file from my O1 server. I'm going to pull it from the downloads directory and set copy. And we are going to stick that in the uh, get to the right directory. Stick this in the downloads folder, let that copy over, and we're going to kick the same process off on the O2 server. So again, you can do this in tandem as long as you have everything as healthy between the two. So it looks like uh, it's upgrading the schema of the database as we speak uh, from the O1 server installation. And the O2 server is getting started. 
So we're going to let this get rolling. We're going to do the same process on the O2 box and next through those screens there. Say next, accept the EULA. So again, this box is configured as a Horizon replica, but again, not really any difference between the standard connection server and replica. So I'm going to say install. Flip back over to uh, the number one server. And this will be the longest step that you will see in the process, the waiting for web apps to start. And that's when the, the everything has been installed. It's just simply waiting for services to start, uh, everything to come up healthy before it can deem it as a successful installation. So what I'm going to do, this normally takes just two, three minutes. I'm going to pause the video. We'll come back after the uh, web apps have started successfully. And as we can see, O2 is rolling along, deleting the Horizon 7 installation and it will replace those with the new 2111 components and essentially look and uh, go through the same process as our 01 server so be back in just a minute okay so we have a installer completed a uh, successful message uh, basically on the 01 server we uh, went through the upgrade process using the uh, file downloaded for horizon 8 2111 so now we see that web apps have started, installer completed. I'm going to click finish. I'm going to flip back over to uh, O2. And same story there. We have a installer completed. I'm going to click finish. And of course, it's opening up uh, release notes. So I'm going to minimize that. And I want to show you guys an error that I uh, saw. Not really an error, but uh, just unexpected result here after the upgrade that I went through uh, yesterday. Um, when you double click, or, or I found this, when I double clicked on the uh, shortcut for the Horizon Administrator console, what I noticed was a blank page, or not really blank, but a background without the login. Uh, so I sat and waited for just a moment thinking, well, web apps may not have started correctly. One thing I, I did notice when I, I brought up the browser tools was I had an error 404 on some web resources that no doubt are behind the fact that that is not displaying the login fills. So played around with this just a little bit. Um, reinstall did some kind of normal troubleshooting that you would expect. However, same result. So what I did just playing around was instead of local host, I noticed that uh, with local host, I was receiving that error. So one thing I wanted to try was uh, the FQDN for the uh, Horizon connection server. So I did that, received the SSL warning, click advance, proceed, and voila, the login box appears correctly so if you do receive that error message uh, if it is pointed to localhost try your fqdn for your connection server and if anything else you can just simply update your shortcut for your administrator console now, i'm not sure if this has been reported as a bug or if there's something else going on specific to my environment but i wanted you guys to see this uh, in my lab environment in case you see that in a production upgrade save you a uh, VMware support ticket. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Uh, this is Virtualization How To, and hopefully you've enjoyed this just quick walkthrough of how to upgrade your Horizon 7 environment to Horizon 8 2111. Hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon.